fine, good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. The Bahamas is in a good position to benefit from investment in multicultural segment. The Bahamas may be the ideal country to invest in for African hotel owners and investors. Bahamas Deputy Prime Minister Chester Cooper explained why. The Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Investments and Aviation recently participated in the 25th Annual International African American Hotel Ownership and Investment Summit and Trade Show NABHOOD. The National Association of Black Hotel Owners, Operators and Developers NABHOOD, mission is to create wealth within diverse communities by increasing the number of minorities developing, managing, operating, and owning hotels, while expanding vendor opportunities and executive-level jobs. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper gave remarks along with other key leaders from top hotel brands in the Caribbean region. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed why investing in the Bahamas right now is optimal. In recent years, the Bahamas has benefited from close to $3 billion in foreign direct investment. Development projects have ranged from mega-resorts, marinas and attractions to boutique hotels. This ongoing development activity is a strong indicator of one thing, investor confidence, said Cooper. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, meets with the Honorable Charles Washington Misick, Premier, Turks and Caicos Islands. Also shown as Parliamentary Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, John Pinder, and Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, Reginald Saunders. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, is shown holding meetings at NABHOOD. He added, we project continued growth in visitor arrivals in the months ahead, based on positive hotel bookings. There has been a significant increase in airlift fueled by pent-up demand for travel. Currently, there are direct or one-stop flights to the Bahamas from every major region of the United States. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, is shown with the Honorable Charles Washington Misick, Premier of Turks and Caicos Islands, and other hotel developers. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, and Parliamentary Secretary of the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Investments, and Aviation, John Pinder, are interviewed by the publishers of Black Meetings and Tourism Magazine, Saul and Gloria Herbert. The Deputy Prime Minister in his closing remarks encouraged all attendees to invest in the Bahamas. The Bahamas has in place all the prime conditions conducive to propelling economic growth, in the short to medium and long term. I invite you to come to the Bahamas, invest and grow with us. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etrobonews.com or travelnews.online.